Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And before we get started, I just want to say thank you so much for 50 subscribers. That's really amazing. And as promised, I'm going to be giving a bunch of shoutouts at the end of the video, so you better stay tuned. For now, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a gum wrapper chain. So let's just get started. So the only supply you really need is gum wrappers and scissors are optional. So first, you're just going to take your gum wrapper and fold it in half. Then you're going to unfold that and either rip or cut across this line. So then you're going to take one half and you're going to fold the first side in so it hits about the middle line and then you're going to fold the second side in so it overlaps on that. If you did rip it, I would recommend putting the side you ripped on the first half so that it's covered by the cleaner half. Then you're going to take that and fold it in half long ways. You want to try and get the cleanest fold so just adjust it however you can do that. Then you're going to unfold it and fold the two sides in so the ends of those sides line up with the middle of the fold. Then you're going to take the whole thing and fold it in half. You should have about four layers. Then we're just going to repeat that with the other half of the gum wrapper. So now we're going to connect them. There's an easy way to this part and there's a harder way. You'll notice on your pieces that one side has many layers and will be a bit more challenging to get the other piece through, and one side has very defined slots. So you want to take the side that has the defined slots, and you're going to take the other piece and stick the two little tabs from that piece into the slots that are more defined so that it's easier. You can do it the other way, it'll just be a little more challenging. And you'll notice I didn't speed it up here because I want to make sure you get it right because this part can be a little challenging. So it should end up looking somewhat like this depending on what gum wrappers you used. And then we're just going to keep doing that with any other wrappers you have and it'll make a really long chain. Let's go to when I am finished. So as you can tell here, I have made a quite long one. It's not that long, but you can... Um, fold it into like a circle kind of and it'll look kind of like a crown although it's a bit annoying that you can't connect the two ends I wish there was a way you could just tape them or glue them or whatever but yeah I hope you enjoyed and let's move on to the shout outs so first I just want to say I'm sorry if I pronounce anyone's name wrong I'm trying my best so our first shout out goes to Bridget Atwell then we have how to channel Next is Artsy Crafts. Then we have Angel Honey. So that's all the people who asked for a shout out, but next I have some more shout outs for people who just commented something nice or were just really nice to my channel. So yeah. So the first one of those goes to Usha Holema. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. And Sprinkles and Slime. And I'm going to be doing a giveaway when I hit 100 subscribers. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe down below, turn on post notifications, and give this video a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!